me. Focus, focus, focus. Oh, Out, out. Good girl. Thanks. Good girl. I didn't do anything. What's your name? Screw you. Screw you, you're under arrest for attempted rape until we nail you for the other 11. Oh, man, does he look familiar to you? That's him. That's the bastard who tried to rape me. Did he screw you? Wasn't that easy? Detectives, you better come down here. Sammy found a body. She's cold. Been dead for a while. I'll tape off the street. You. It's like he was either trying to protect her or hide her. Got a wound to the back of the head. A little blood on the ground could be a dump job. Shannon Coyle, 16, from Brooklyn. Six straight in Park Slope. Photo on the backpack says WTP. William Theodore Preps, two blocks from here. Doesn't look like a robbery. There's $70 in the wallet and a credit card. This couldn't be our rapist. Lucky break, the dog found her. Not too lucky for the parents. Let's notify him, get him down to the morgue. Your victim died of a massive cerebral hemorrhage caused by blunt force trauma. Time of death? Based on body temp, I'd say between 10 and 11 last night. And she definitely had sex before she died. Found traces of spermicide. Rape? No genital trauma, but sex and getting your head bashed in don't usually go together. Get in touch with the parents? Father's out of the country. Mrs. Coyle and her son Brian's right outside. I'll wheel her in front of the camera. She wants to see her. Mrs. Coyle, I'm Detective Stabler, Detective Benson. This is Dr. Warner. You sure about this? She's my daughter. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, you're so cold. Oh, my sweet baby. Computer crimes get anything off her hard drive? It's clean. There's no visits to chat rooms, no suspicious emails. Maybe it was a random attack. I doubt it. Check the inventory of Shannon's backpack. No cell phone. Perp must have taken it. He probably thought his number was stored in the memory. Which points to someone she knew. Well, Warner says that Shannon had sex, but the mother and the brother say that she wasn't seeing anyone, which means mom doesn't know that Shannon was sexually active. Maybe your friends do. The school has given us the cafeteria for interviews. John, Finn, see if they can help us reconstruct her day. This can't be good news. Shannon Coyle was eight weeks pregnant with a girl. Aiden's got to be the father. He can't be. How do you know that? We haven't taken his DNA. Don't need it. All of us get half our DNA from our mother and half from our father. The fetus had 62% of the same genes as Shannon. So she and the baby's father are related. So we're talking about incest. With who? Most likely her brother, but possibly her father or uncle or first cousin. Well, the pregnancy is enough motive for any one of them to want to shut Shannon up. Aiden still could have killed her. Until we can prove it, there's nothing to hold him on. You better tell Shannon's mother. Pregnant? That can't be true. Mrs. Coyle, we understand how difficult this is. But the DNA proves that the baby's father was related to Shannon. What do you mean? Well, do you remember Shannon spending any time with um, uncles or cousins about two months ago? No, she doesn't have any uncles or cousins. My my husband, Barry, is an only child. He's been out of the country for 11 weeks. Oh, God. No. Brian? Brian? Did you get Shannon pregnant? Tell me what you did. I you didn't tell me! I didn't do it. Did you get her pregnant? Tell me if you got her pregnant. Mrs. Coyle! Mrs. Coyle, hop down. Come down the stairs. Mom, I never touched her. Shut up! You shut up! Brian, you're gonna have to come with us. Mrs. Coyle, we need your permission to test your son's DNA. Do whatever you want with him. Come 
It's just like the mother told you. Shannon called home from her cell at 2.31 the afternoon she was murdered. Then Shannon's at school until 5. She has coffee with her friend Lisa until 6. Back to the teacher's place for a little loving with Aiden. They leave at 8, drop Aiden off on the corner at 8.30. All right, then the cab takes her back to school at 8.30. When was that last call? 8.34, incoming to Shannon's phone from a blocked number. You able to unblock it? You trace it to a cell phone, billed to one Jason Connor. Aiden calls Shannon back. They go out again, which makes him the last one to talk to before she was killed. Better take this. Sector car responded to a call for shots fired. They found him all bloodied up in the driver's seat. What the hell was he doing here? Working. It's his latest construction project across the street. 25 caliber Beretta jet fire. CSU found it under the car. Already dusted, no prints. Whoever did it wanted to make sure Jason Connor was dead, emptied the whole clip into it. Anybody think this is a coincidence? First Shannon is killed, now her boyfriend's father. Why? The night of Shannon's murder, Jason Connor saw Shannon and Aiden in a taxi together. I think that Aiden Connor murdered Shannon and then his father. How you figure? Aiden finds out that Shannon's pregnant. He knows that he used condoms when they had sex. He thinks that Shannon cheated on him. The tragedy is it was with her brother. Yeah, but Aiden didn't know that. He kills Shannon, and then he realizes that the last person to see them together was his father. You murder your father to cover up killing your girlfriend? That's cold. The kid doesn't strike me as a sociopath. Captain, this kid has it's lied to us every single time we've talked to him. You want us to bring Aiden in? Thank you very much. Mother's just going to lawyer him up, especially now that Dad's dead. Ballistics traced the gun, bought in Pennsylvania in 1985 by Jason Connor. That narrows down our suspect pool. Yeah, to Aiden. Better not jump to conclusions. Guns registered to Susan Coyle. Coyle family tree. We call it a genotype. We know Shannon's fetus should have had half its genes from Shannon and half from the father. I retested the DNA just in case the samples were contaminated. Got the same results. The fetus has 62% of Shannon's genes. So it was incest? Yes, but her brother Brian's not a match. And we know that Shannon's father, Barry, was gone for more than eight weeks, so it couldn't have been him. So who got Shannon pregnant? At first, I thought there was another sibling that we didn't know about or the family lied about, no uncles or cousins. We checked, we couldn't find any. Then there's only one other option. The fetus has a double grandparent. What the hell does that mean? The DNA confirms it. Shannon and the guy who impregnated her have the same father. Jason Connor and Barry Coyle are the same person. Which means that Aiden Connor is the father of Shannon's baby. Look, I told you, I didn't kill Shannon. I believe you. There's something you need to know. About what? Your father. Do you know who shot him? We're investigating. Uh, I know how much you loved Dad. So what I'm about to tell you is not going to be easy to understand. Did you do something wrong? Aiden, your father was also Shannon's father. <laughs> Shannon's not my sister. Our DNA tests prove she is. How can you know this? Because Shannon was pregnant. And we tested the fetus's genes. The fetus? Oh, God. Hey, listen to me. This is not your fault. No. None of this is your fault. No. She was my sister. <laughs> I had sex with my sister. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha